Now here we have the standard old El Cheapo uh, air conditioning disconnect. This is a 30 amp disconnect, has a plug that goes in there like that, and you pull that out, and then you pull, you can pull this out. Okay, and here's your guts inside. Now, how do you wire this thing? How, where the, should the wires be put in? Okay, first of all, it's a 30 amp disconnect, 240 volts. There is no neutral in this thing. There is only the two hot leads that come from the panel. And obviously, if you have a wire coming from a panel, the breaker should be off. Okay. So, how do I get the wires in, where the wires go in this thing when I wire it up? Okay, I'm coming from the panel. It comes in here. Most of them have to come in here either at the back or at the sides. And then, those two wires, remember this is 240 only, go up here and here. Looking a little closer, you can see it says line and line. Okay. These are the load terminals here. This is the line terminals. So my two hot leads go right in there. When this plug is removed and this covers off, there is no continuity to here or here because the power goes right in here and then these things have continuity across so what goes here and here and here and here for the other lead so when that plugs in this will be hot right here and if the fuses are in of course they're going to be hot so we're putting this together with everything out uh, let's take a look at this with fuses in okay with the fuses in we're going to have continuity all the way through here if the plug's in. Okay, the load terminals are going to go right here. And they will go to whatever you're trying to control. In this case, it's probably an air conditioner. Then, from uh, the line side, you're going to have a ground wire that goes in here in this uh, bus bar. And another one that goes here from the load. It's pretty simple to wire these things up. There's really not much to it. Uh, but I just thought I'd go through it in case you needed to know how these things should be wired up. I can't emphasize enough that these wires on these terminals have to be tight. Uh, a lot of these loads run for pretty long periods of time. And if there's any of these connections are not tight, they will heat and burn up. So anyway, that's it on this one.